Murray, who is the CEO of Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Nashville. And Ms. Perry, let's uh, pick up where we left off uh, during the uh, end of that uh, first segment and give you an opportunity to uh, talk about the organization itself, about your okay. organization and uh, the service and all of some of the okay. other things that our in, uh, viewers might be interested in uh, this morning. Well, well, very good, Dr. Annie. We, we match a caring adult with a vulnerable young person. Mm -hmm becomes part of that, that uh, child's team, if you will. And uh, we've been doing it better and more effective than, than anybody else in the business mm -hmm. for a number of years, mm -hmm. as I, I said before. Mm -hmm. uh, we've experienced some tremendous growth uh, during my tenure here. When I first started, we were mm -hmm. serving about 5,000 kids a year mm -hmm. in Middle Tennessee. Uh, in 2009, we served over 2,500. Uh -huh. Now, our, our, our vision is to, in the next three to five years, serve 5,000 children minimally on, uh -huh. on an annual basis. And to, to, to basically explain the need that's out there, okay. however, is probably in excess of 75,000. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of work that still uh, needs uh -huh. to be done. One of the things that people don't always understand uh, about Big Brothers Big Sisters, uh -huh. they, they know about what we do. Okay. They know we do one-to-one -one mentoring and mm -hmm. we do it better than anybody mm -hmm. else, but they don't also know that we're a great place to invest resources. Okay. And it is an investment and that's why I, I said at the very beginning here that I prefer the term social profit. Mm -hmm. You know, people can invest their time uh, to become a big brother or a mm -hmm. big sister. They can uh, uh, invest their talent to, to become mm -hmm. a board mm -hmm. member or, or help us out on one of our committees, or they can invest their treasure and, and make an investment mm -hmm. uh, with us because um, Big Brothers Big Sisters is a professionally run organization. Okay. The services that we provide to the children and families that uh, we do serve are free Mm -hmm. Yet we're a paid professional staff. Okay. A lot goes into making matches. I mean, background checks, reference mm -hmm. checks. Uh, we uh, carry a lot of uh, liability insurance. Mm -hmm. We have ongoing match support with uh, clinically trained uh, social workers, most with master's degrees, mm -hmm. that do a fabulous job. Um, we've uh, had a direct impact in this whole push toward uh, school reform. Okay. The kids that come through our program compared to their peers do better in school. They get better grades. They mm -hmm. want to be there. So their attitude changes. And, okay. and, and I've always been of the, the belief that I don't care how much we do on this whole school reform thing in mm -hmm. terms of, um, you know, let's hold teachers more accountable. Mm -hmm. Let's raise the standards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure that these kids are, are passing mm -hmm. uh, math tests and, and English tests. Mm -hmm. Unless they pass Go. life's That's tests. Right. Okay. Unless they want to be there, mm -hmm. we're still going to be having this mm -hmm. discussion of why our schools aren't where they should be. Okay. So we're a critical component of any serious strategy to enhance our schools. Mm -hmm. So if somebody volunteers to be a big brother, and we particularly need men, mm -hmm. we, we have on our waiting list right now about 292 to 300 kids. Over 200, and, I want to say 208 mm -hmm. was the last figure I saw, are boys. Waiting for somebody, waiting for to, come somebody to come and spend a little time with them. You know, and that's all they're waiting for, for the most part, somebody to get involved. Is that what we're saying? Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And, and most of them are young African-American boys. Mm -hmm. we, all we ask for is a, an hour a week, mm -hmm. four to eight hours a month. We probably uh, waste that much time in line every week waiting for a caramel okay. macchiato uh -huh. somewhere. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. uh, and, and just do what you normally do. Talk about life. Maybe help them with homework. Mm -hmm. Listen to them. Find out uh, what's going on mm -hmm. in their life. See what uh, they, they, they what their dreams are. Mm -hmm. You know, are they thinking about going to school mm -hmm. and exposing them to, to things that they might not otherwise have an opportunity to do. You know, a lot of the kids uh, come primarily mm -hmm. from single parent homes, okay. um, so-called underprivileged uh, kids. Mm -hmm. But these are all great kids, mm -hmm. good kids that have themselves said, I want to do something mm -hmm. with my life. Mm -hmm. and, and let's not make a mistake. One of the things that I tell people, Dr. Haney, that I don't think we, we, we mm -hmm. often think about is that these kids who have said that they want a mentor, okay. in many cases are already being mentored right now, but yeah, they want the right, right kind, kind of mentor. Okay, good. Right? That's, that's a good point. You know, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. somebody's you, already telling them how to do it. You got the, you got, you got the gangs <laughs> right. trying to mentor okay. to them. You mm -hmm. got the drug dealers trying to mentor mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of the things that uh, they have on uh, television now mm -hmm. that they listen to on the radio, the violent video games and mm -hmm. those kinds of things, that is what's competing for the attention mm -hmm. of our young people right now. So if we can get especially men mm -hmm. to man up and show these young boys, mm -hmm. you know, what it is to be a man, because a boy's got to see a man mm -hmm. to be a man. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we're really excited uh, in, in particular uh, on that 
um, um, side of things with a, mm -hmm. a, a nationwide uh, movement that we have now with uh, uh, right now three of the historically black Greek uh, mm -hmm. fraternities, okay. Alpha Phi Alpha, Kappa Alpha Psi, and Omega mm -hmm. Psi Phi mm -hmm. that have formal uh, relationship with Big Brothers Big Sisters to mentor young African American mm -hmm. boys. We expect the Sigmas and the Iotas uh, mm -hmm. to be on board here shortly mm -hmm. on a national basis. Here uh, in Nashville and the surrounding communities, mm -hmm. uh, we're already working with all of them, including the mm -hmm. sisterhood mm -hmm. organizations as well. So mm -hmm. if any uh, Greeks out there, okay. uh, mm -hmm. they need to get involved. They need to go to mentorakid.org, mm -hmm. mentorakid.org. Mm -hmm. and, and see how they can get involved. And you know, uh, one of the things about it, uh, Ms. Perry, is that I, I'm often curious, uh, uh, have you done any research in reference to why uh, African-American men, uh, males refuse, to not, well, perhaps not refuse, but are reluctant to become involved in uh, mentoring and some of the things that you were talking about? Well, you know, one of the things that's, that's really interesting about that is that there is this perception that, that black men aren't engaged in mm -hmm. their communities. Okay. There are a lot of uh, 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 brothers that are out there that are doing things, albeit on a, a, an unofficial basis, mm -hmm. that are coaching uh, youth okay. teams, mm -hmm. that are uh, teachers, mm -hmm. uh, that are uh, working through okay. the church mm -hmm. and, and, and so forth, uh, and with their um, uh, relatives to, mm -hmm. to mentor. Mm -hmm. But we need more guys to do this official one-to-one -one mentoring because mm -hmm. the studies have indicated that it takes that kind of consistency, that kind of strength mm -hmm. and length of, of a, a quality match to have the, the mm -hmm. desired effect on these young people. Meeting with a group of kids, you know, once a month okay. is better than nothing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we need that one-to-one -one time. Mm -hmm. You know, there's somebody in each and every one of our lives that made a difference mm -hmm. in, in who we are, that shaped who we are. Whether it was our, our father uh, or mother, whether it was mm -hmm. an aunt or an uncle, whether it was a coach mm -hmm. or a teacher. Somebody's there. Somebody is there mm -hmm. that lets you know that you matter. And, and anybody that claims to be Horatio Alger and said that they pulled mm -hmm. themselves up by mm -hmm. their own bootstraps mm -hmm. is either deluding themselves mm -hmm. or lying no, because we all mm -hmm. had somebody, somebody else. Somebody, that's right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Somebody to point the way. And that's, absolutely. And that's essentially what a mentor. That's, that's it. Mm -hmm. that, that is mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. it. Somebody to just show the way, mm -hmm. show that uh, there is more out there than, than one mm -hmm. might think to help them think outside of their box or mm -hmm. maybe the neighborhood or community that they're locked in. I mean, mm -hmm. We've got a, a group of children in our mm -hmm. um, Amachi program, which focuses on those that have a parent incarcerated. Okay. And mm -hmm. an old U.S. Senate report oh, said mm -hmm. that those children face a 7 in t uh, 10 likelihood uh, of following that, in their that's footsteps right. that's right. without that's intervention. Mm -hmm. you know, so mm -hmm. why wouldn't we? You know, mm -hmm. and, and in our own communities, why wouldn't we take the first step to do something? Mm -hmm. This is not some, something anybody else can do for mm -hmm. us. If we aren't doing something, mm -hmm. then we don't have anybody That's to blame. Very good. And of course, uh, let's take, we're going to take this uh, second commercial break and we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. 